Hey y'all, welcome to the channel, Teresa Renee, and it is Friday evening about 7 o'clock. I am on my way to, I had to pull back in the yard to let DeMarcus in the house because he can't, you know, he loses his house key, y'all, and he need to get one made too, but um, it's about, it's a little bit after 7, I am on my way to Revival. Y'all know I told you my church has revival this week. And, girl, you cannot be pulling out in front of these cars by my house because these people be flying like they don't have no sense at all. I'm so serious. And, um, I'm excited. Yeah, I have been looking forward to all day. I've been looking forward all day to revival tonight. I am, like, so hyped about this revival we had it all week but y'all know i get off late so i wasn't able to make it um well we had it wednesday and thursday night so i wasn't able to make it those nights girl and i was just like oh my goodness i don't know i just because this, for one this pastor that is preaching yo i love to hear this man preach he preaches the gospel and he don't be long about it either so Girl, I've been sitting in the house all day, chilling. I cleaned up all day. I was tired, and I, was, you know, and I was like, you know what? Let me just get out this bed. And I listened to Pastor Jenkins. It's a new pastor here on YouTube that I started listening to, Pastor Jenkins. And honey, let me tell you something. That man puts it down. Ooh, the sun. Ugh. Block y'all view, but that man puts it down, honey. And he don't give a fly. Pastor, what is his first name? Jenkins. His last name is Jenkins. And I've been listening to him all day, so I had him playing in the background on YouTube while I was cleaning up, child. And girl, mm, all I can say is, you know, sometimes the Bible is it's it's a thin line, it's a tight line that we have to walk. And when you hear people preaching and teaching about it, and they're really teaching you the true gospel, sometimes, you know, it'll make you be like, whoa. You know, I, they, I mean, hey, but it's tight, but it's right. That's the only thing I can think of is that it is tight, but it is right. If you are living according to the Bible. And that's the problem is that a lot of people... The thing is with me, I feel like if you believe, you believe. If you don't believe, you don't believe. You know what I'm saying? It's like some certain things I don't condone, but I don't go on people's, you know, pages or I don't go on their social media accounts or YouTube, or whatever. Just, you know, going ham because I don't believe in what, you know, you're teaching or what the Bible says. If you're not a believer, then you're not going to understand anyway. If you're not a believer then yeah, you're going to get mad and you can't relate. You can't understand where he's coming from because you don't believe. And that's just anybody that preaches the gospel. But girl, let me tell you something. Now, if you don't want to be told about yourself or about just the world, period, because the thing is, is that when people are delivering the message, God's word to you, sometimes it's not going to sit right with you. Sometimes it's going to make you it, it's going to make you think about what you're doing, how you're doing it, who you're doing it with, who you're doing it to, if you're not living according to God's word. Now, if you don't believe in God's word, then this ain't for you. You know what I'm saying? It's not for you. But if you believe in God's word and you want to, I mean, it's tight, honey, but it's right. That's all I can say. Gritty Rose be jacked up the sun is shining so bright y'all it's been a beautiful day though it has not spent the whole day in the house cleaning up didn't i tell y'all my husband was gonna get up this morning and say hey you want to go look for a car i knew i know him like the back of my hand and i knew he was gonna do it i knew he was gonna do it so girl i was sitting in the bed because this was like 7 30 8 o'clock and i was like chris i mean really no I knew I wasn't going to look for no car today. I told y'all yesterday I wasn't going to look for no car today because I ain't feel like going to look for no car today. I really know. So he and my son, he and Brian, this is cut. 
pet buddy. They always call me, they be hanging out, but they swear out they be working. Bro, mom, we work and we work. I'm like, hmm, okay, if y'all say so. They kill me with they working, honey. They were test driver cars for him, but I told him, I said, why don't you just look for something for me while you're out? He's like, nope, nope, nope. You got to pick out your own car because I don't want to hear. And I ain't asking him to pick it out. I just said, look for something. But he was like, nah, because you, you know, you picky. You need to pick out your own stuff. But um, I had a great day, though, y'all. It was so relaxing. Then my daughter, Lamika, and two then and Zoe came down and stayed about four or five hours. By the time they got here, child, I, I had finished cleaning up. Only thing I didn't do today was mop. And I didn't do all of my diva room, but I did like the living room, the kitchen, my sitting room, and like um, some other, a couple other rooms. But I didn't get to my, I didn't get to my um, my diva space or my bathroom day. I probably do the bathroom tonight, like my own private bathroom. I probably do that tonight, or tonight or tomorrow. Then I'm gonna mop probably over the weekend because y'all know I have hardwood floors, so I steam my floors with a steamer. And girl, that steamer is a lifesaver. I'm telling you, like I've had it for years, and I need to, um, I need to get, buy me another one. But I want another one just like that one, but I don't think they sell it anymore. At least I need to go to the website and see if they still have it, cause that thing, hey, it's been the business, child. But yeah, I'm about to go to um, revival. Have y'all ever just been so excited to get to church? That's how I feel today, like. Yo, I be it's been a countdown for me, child, where I been like, yo, I cannot wait to get to church today. I was like, I ain't rushing my time. You know how I be like, I'm not in a hurry. I be like, you know how like I be ready to get off work so I could get home. That's how I felt today, y'all. I was ready to get this day over with so I could get to revival tonight. It's just being, I don't know. I just, I just, oh. And I've been thinking about it all week. It's just been in my spirit all week. I'm ready, child. I am so ready. And another reason I didn't want to go with my... I, well, I wasn't going car shopping today anyway. Because he was like, well, you got planned days to clean up. No, I don't have planned days to clean up. I just don't want to go nowhere. So, and I'm glad I didn't. I didn't want to go either. Because you know how, like, when you go and you... Even though I was in the house cleaning up all day, I was at home cleaning up all day. But if you go to hanging out, you know, all day, you won't be in the right frame of mind. You won't... You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'd have been like, man, I don't feel like going tonight, probably. If I'd have been hanging out with them all day from 8 o'clock this morning, because they still doing whatever they do, child. Yeah, they work. You know, they be taking, you know, materials to the job sites, different little stuff like that. But, you know, I, I just wouldn't have been in the frame of mind I needed to be in to get down here to this church house tonight. Anyway, girl, I just want to check in with y'all real quick. Say hey, what's up? How you doing? I did film a couple videos today. I filmed a couple videos today on, on top of my cleaning up and stuff. Girl, my stomach being messed up all day. Ain't nothing but the devil trying to be like, girl, your stomach messed up. Maybe you shouldn't go to church tonight. The devil is a lie. Y'all see how bright the sun is shining? Ooh, it is all in my face. And the thing is, when I go to work, the sun is not beaming like this normally on my way to work not yet anyway and when i get off it's gone down so i don't really get to enjoy the sunshine that much child but anyway let me get on down this road and get into the church house and enjoy myself praise the lord oh my goodness i'm so hyped y'all i'm going in with a praise because god is good you know what i'm saying he is real real good and i appreciate all that he's done for me all that he's doing for me and all that he is going to do for me and i'm, I'm just excited y'all i'm telling you i i I'm, I'm filled with praise tonight i'm filled with praise and i just feel like praising the lord and if you you know if you ever I, and I'm pretty sure, you know, a lot of y'all can, you know, you can testify and understand when you just have that praise, that that praise is just built up in you and you're just ready to release it. You know what I'm saying? And I can, I release it at home. Trust me, honey. I don't just wait till I get to church, but I'm excited about this word. I just, I'm, I'm excited about the word tonight, y'all. Anyway, let me get off here and get on down the road and I will holler back at y'all in the next video. Bye, girl.